that same Jesus is present through the power of the Holy Spirit right here in this room, right now, right now. I believe that. And I believe that same Jesus is present through the power of the Holy Spirit right here in this room, right now, right now. And he wants to meet every need. Now what's wrong with a withered hand? Why would Jesus be drawn to a withered hand healing all that were oppressed of the devil? I believe that. And I believe that same Jesus is present through the power of the Holy Spirit. Why would Jesus is present through the power of the Holy Spirit right here in this room? right now, and he wants to meet every need. Now what's wrong with a withered hand? Why would Jesus be drawn to a withered hand? And I believe that same Jesus is present through the power of the Holy Spirit. I believe that. And I believe that same Jesus is present through the power of the Holy Spirit right now. Now what's wrong with a withered hand? Why would Jesus be drawn to a withered hand of a man that was in the synagogue? Now what's wrong with a withered hand? Why would Jesus right here in this room right now? And he wants to meet every need. Drawn to a withered hand of a man that was in the synagogue. Jesus Christ not only healed this man in the synagogue that had the withered hand, but I believe this very same story has a message for you and me even down here in this year in which we live. Now I believe Jesus Christ not only healed this man in the synagogue that had the withered hand, and I believe that same Jesus is present through the power of the Holy Spirit. Now what's wrong with a withered hand? Why would Jesus be drawn to a withered hand of a man that was in the synagogue? But I believe this very same story has a message for you and me even down here in this year in which we live. Jesus knew all about that. They said, who can forgive sin but God? But God, but God, sin, but God. They said, who can forgive sin but God? Then he said, take up your bed and walk, God. Then he said, take up your bed and walk. Forgive sin but God. Then he said, take up your bed and walk. Now I believe Jesus Christ not only healed this man in the synagogue that had the withered hand, but I believe this very same story has a message for you and me even down here in this year in which we live. And he said, take up your bed and walk. And I believe that same Jesus is present through the power of the Holy Spirit right here in this room, right now, right now, right now. And he wants to meet every need. Now what's wrong with a withered hand? Why would Jesus be drawn to a withered hand? Why would Jesus be drawn to a withered hand? Drawn to a withered hand of a man that was in the synagogue. To a withered hand of a man that was in the synagogue. Well, a withered hand can't hold on to anything. Jesus coming. Jesus moved. Jesus moved about with divine appointment. Jesus is here and this place is packed in standing outside and Jesus walks in. Jesus always moved with divine appointment and he had an appointment. Someone that had a withered hand and he'd make it whole.